Android Gamer here. Android Gamer Girl here. <laughs> my bad. Um, my friend suggests me to play the console, so I'm gonna give a try. All these games, these games, she wants me to try. So I'm gonna You're give not it a getting try. anywhere with this Von Borchert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Sound. No one's coming to save you. <laughs> That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis. I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borchert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Okay. Stop annoying our host, Louis. Son. Didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. Your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchardt! Von Borchardt! Listen! Let's make a deal. Deal or no deal? I'll tell That's you where the book thing. is. If you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Trust her. Well, let's trust mother. Please, be my guest, mother. I got a trophy for that. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Wait, what happened? One month later.
over here. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Aunt Bertrand's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditched me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer, and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. <laughs> The console. Episode one, the mad one. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. what one may be able to imagine, was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Um, personal reasons, business group, Lord. They didn't give me no. Um. Lord Mortimer asked me to join them. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious! You adapt quickly, my son. To get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Absolutely. Well, yeah. That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by Lord Mortimer. You... You won't soon forget. Given what I've seen so far, I wish I'd been passed over. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Oh, God. <clears throat> are you right? Does it look like he's all white? I thought it, it was. Mother? Oh shit! Your hand! So? Okay, it's that? done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Ooh, Are you absolutely hell. sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, mother! No, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? Well, there is no other way. Boot, if, you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. That's all I wanted to say. Damn it! But you will pay <sighs> You uh, Louis, are you right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting, it's getting late. late. Why don't, why don't, why don't you, you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes! I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sure, sure yes. yes. No, he's not Fine. okay. Oh, well, you just made the girl mad. The woman mad you. You should be a semi-star. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going 
crazy or, or what? This yeah, can't be real. They that just arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. I see stuff right there. That's if I go over there. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, yes Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh, God. A The A is a matter of assistant convinced of the importance of knowledge he has required and sanctioned his friends to sign, and the other others achieve his own and does not bother him. Department. That the permanent science and society a talent speaker, he evolves Fox past and he can convince those with him whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his still a tradition activity that the different does in presentation. He is trained to nervous every detail in his surroundings as well as in he person, a hands-on man. He does not shy away from the direct approach. In the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. I got a mm. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I waited your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Like to her? Not at all, sorry. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met. Oh, good God. Uh, I tend to hurt her not believing me. The most probable place would be Paris. Don't you remember? We bumped into each other at Mesmer's show in Paris. That fraudster had even bamboozled the Marquis of Lafayette. You too, apparently, because I've never been to see him. Ouch. Well, that didn't work. Right. Time to go to the manor. Oh, <laughs> I apologize. I ask her a question. She answers with another. Is she playing with me? Wait. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily. But you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart.
Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Mm -hmm. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet, son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Where is Lo? Where is Lo, What do you know about my mother? What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since her mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, well, you could tell none you of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Are there any Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Let me have the handkerchief. Let us say no more then. Thank you. Thank you very much for your cooperation. When sir would like to go to the manor, it will suffice to take the stone stairs there. Duty calls. Of course, sir may take as much time as he requires. He must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she be doing out here on this wharf? Thank you.